A dad has told of his nine years of torture after he moved into Levi Belfield's old house. Patrick O'Rourke, 63, went to the semi-detached in West Drayton, Middlesex, more than two years after the serial killer's arrest. But he claims the Housing Association never told him and his wife about the previous occupant and it was only when TV crews turned up at the home that he learned of its past. Patrick said, we moved there in 2006, two years after Belfield was arrested. First of all we knew nothing about it. The Housing Association said they didn't have to tell me Belfield lived there, but I told them if it put me in danger then they had to tell me. Patrick had no idea that serial killer Levi Belfield, pictured, had lived in his house, image, PA, I was assured that Belfield didn't commit any of his crimes there but it was horrendous living there. We had nothing but aggravation. We were tortured because of what he did. We had years of people showing up at the house. I had my windows put in and I never knew if it was because the front of my house was on the news. We had camera crews in the garden showing my car. I'm an innocent person and all of a sudden my life is on TV. I had bricks thrown through my window when I was living there. The events of Millie Dowler's murder have been reenacted for a TV drama on the anniversary of her death at locations like Belfield's Old House, Image, PA, asked what he thinks of ITV shooting new series Manhunt at the address. Patrick, who now lives in Kent, added, I can't believe they filmed on that street, I'd be furious if they filmed while I was still living there. I'd turn the hosepipe on them. Why do they need to keep bringing it up? It's the victims who are not being protected. It's always the predators who have the attention. I won't be watching it. To do a drama on this is all wrong. I feel sorry for the families of the girls who were killed. They are going to turn on the TV and see all this. Reliving it all the time, why don't they get a break?